fast and repent. In other words, turn around, go the other way, go back to the spiritual. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief. And thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments. There appears to be a few people, even in these big churches, um, that have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me um, in white, for they are worthy. So again, you've got a kind of a vision here of a mixed up state of affairs that even in some of these um, uh, churches where everyone's getting into the surface operations and, and it all looks good on the surface, that they have a big name. There are even some amongst them which are walking in the spirit and not the flesh. So there's a few, there's a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments. So you kind of picture here a church that started out well. And, of course, um, many have, have backslid into the flesh. But there's still um, some that are holding on to the original teachings, to the original um, things they were shown by God himself. Maybe they were shown a lot of these things with the same chain of command coming down through the angel as coming down through the leadership. And the lead, they following the leadership and the good example then, but the leadership go astray. Then they lead the sheep astray. And some people are even coming out against the leadership. And a lot of these um, churches become factionalized. And you have these various factions in various churches now. And that's how you, can, uh, you can't help but vision um, things these days. That even within um, people that started out with the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. All that believed were together and had all things common. And even those that sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as all men as every man have need. They started out well and time went by and the church become, the group of believers become factionized. They had a great name. They got a great name for themselves and many backslid into the great name and the great surface operations hobnobbing around with important people and having cars and houses and riches and travels and, and such. Uh, but many still holding on to the original teachings of the original um, leader with the original vision of that church who, uh, that started out wow and is now um, uh, uh, thou livest but are dead. So even in Sardis, they had some that were um, breaking up into another faction that uh, but thou has um, thou has a name and remember therefore now how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent if therefore thou shalt not watch so they once had the truth and have lost it thou shalt not watch if thou shalt not watch so I come and thee as a thief and thou shalt and thou shalt um, shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee there's a good verse that talks about um, let him that Hold on to the things that you have. So um, take heed, therefore, um, Luke chapter um, uh, chapter 8, I think it is here. Chapter 8, um, verse 18. Take heed, therefore, how ye hear. For what for um, whosoever have, to him shall be given. And whosoever have not, from him shall be taken away, even that which he seemeth to have. Well, you might seem to have a big name. You might seem to have a big church. You might even seem to have a great big following. But in God's eyes, it's all spiritually dead. So you can lose it all. Again, take heed, therefore, how ye hear. So listen to what you were once told. For um, whatsoever, whosoever have, to him shall be given. If you, if you follow the truth you have, then you'll be given more. And whosoever have not from him shall be taken away, even that which he seemeth to have. You might seem to have a big church. You might seem to have a, a lot of money rolling into your bank account. You might seem to have this great and wonderful name, and, but it's all an illusion. It's all fabrication. It's all nothing because you're spiritually dead. Jesus said, without me, ye can do nothing. So without Jesus, you can do nothing and it is nothing. Without God, everything is nothing other than a great nothing. You might have fame, fortune, wealth and the world, but it's all one big, <coughs> fantastic nothing. It's nothing without God. You're spiritually dead without Jesus. So take heed, therefore, how ye hear. 
For whosoever have, to him shall be given, and whosoever have not, from him shall be taken away, even that which he seemeth to have. So remember therefore how thou hast received what you were told, and heard, and hold fast. Don't let it all go overboard in the storms of life, and repent, turn around, go the other way. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief. And thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. So in other words, Jesus comes as a thief. And you lose that even which you seem to have. You might even lose your whole church. You might even lose your whole following. Suddenly you might be exposed um, for the phony you are. And God will reveal this um, to everybody. And you'll lose it all. You'll lose even that which you seem to have. Thou has a few names even in Sardis which have not defiled their garments, and some are still trying even in this church in, in Sardis. They've not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white. Overcome here means um, saved. Many might have even gone to some of these churches looking for salvation, but didn't find it. There were too many trip offs, too many temptations of the flesh. So he that overcometh, who is he that overcometh, but he that believeth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. This is the victory that overcometh the world, even your faith, faith in Jesus Christ. If we have faith in Jesus Christ, then we will ask him, Jesus Christ, into our heart. We ask him who overcame into our hearts. Jesus overcame the world. If we want to overcome the world and all the temptations in it, then we need Jesus Christ into our heart. Without Jesus Christ in our hearts, we cannot overcome the evil which is in the world. Jesus came um, to conquer sin, the devil and death. So unless we have Jesus Christ in our hearts, we cannot co conquer the world. Jesus said, be of good cheer for I have, I have, I have overcome the world. So if we have that overcomer in our hearts, then we have true salvation. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed with me in white raiment. And I will not blot, blot out his name out of the book of life. If you have the name, your name written in the Lamb's book of life, in other words, you won't be blotted out of the book of life. It's like everyone born here has their name written in the book of life. But you can have your name blotted out of the book of life. If we reject true salvation and we trip off into the world, into the flesh, then um, we rejected Jesus Christ. We rejected the only one through whom we can overcome the world and the world overcomes us. And therefore our name is blotted out of the book of life. If we receive Jesus Christ into our hearts, then we have, um, then we have our names written in the Lamb's book of life. Therefore, we have the true overcomer in our hearts and we cannot be blotted out of the book of life. We've chosen citizenship in God's kingdom. We've chosen to acknowledge our citizenship and that we want to be a member of God's kingdom. We, had our, we have our names written in the book of life, but do we want citizenship? Do we want to be a citizen of, of, of um, the kingdom of God or the kingdoms of the devil and the kingdom of this world? So you, in this same sense, have your name in the book of life. But do you want to acknowledge Jesus Christ and be in the Lamb's book of life so you, so you won't have your name blotted out of the book of life? So Jesus says, he that overcome the same shall be clothed, um, uh, shall be clothed in white raiment, so salvation, and true salvation. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He that have an ear, if we have an ear, we still got our spiritual ears. We haven't hardened our hearts and hardened our, our ears and hardened our minds. Then we would still be able to hear. So if we still have um, the view of strengthening the things which remain, then we should strengthen and, and grow on, on this. Fan the flame and, and get back to what we once knew and what we once were and, and to walk again in the spirit to forsake the world. Jesus says, and likewise, whosoever be of you that forsaketh not all that he have, he cannot be my disciple. He that put of his hand to the plough and looketh back, there appears to be many in this church that have put their hand to the plough and are looking back. But if they want true salvation, they can still enter in. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit 
safe unto the churches. So praise Jesus.